Thank you. 
Hi, <laughs> this is a um, play for charity live stream concert. Um, I'm trying to see if that worked. I have a different setup this time, so I hope this works. Um, let me know if this voice thing works, but thank you so much for tuning in. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm seeing clapping, which means you might be slightly behind in real life, but that's okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh my gosh, we are 90% of our goal. So as you probably know by now, because I've been talking about this all month, <laughs> I am trying to raise funds for Direct Relief, which is a nonprofit organization that helps to provide medical supplies and uh, they provide to not only hospitals, but also frontline workers, like grocery workers. So your support really means a lot. I think this is the time to do charity more than anything. So if you only have five bucks, please just donate to Direct Relief. And um, yeah, oh, this makes me so relief in a way. <sighs> oh, good. And a huge shout out, thank you to my Patreon patrons. Um, they are the reason that all of this is working right now because they helped me test for over an hour and a half. And um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else I need to tell you before I begin. Um, there's a lot of distress in the world right now, uh, not only from quarantine, but just from everything that's going on in the world. So I tried to pick a program that's a bit lighter and um, filled with pieces that you probably know already and I hope you enjoy. Uh, what else is there to say? I'm going to play the entire program that I chose and uh, without any breaks in between. So this will be the last time for me to be talking in this hour. I will talk to you, I guess, in about an hour-ish. And then I will find out what you guys picked in the polls for the encores. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because tech scares me. <laughs> I'm a one woman band. So let's just go. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.
Okay, I have no idea <laughs> if um, that was good. I think I saw someone say something glitched in Chopin, but um, I hope you enjoyed that. <sighs> I was looking up at the ceiling at the end because Mr. or Miss Dog up there. Hi. See, it's moving. I, th I think it likes the really <laughs> crazy Ravel sound because it kept scratching and I got sidetracked multiple times. So hello, good morning. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, this is why I made iced coffee because I knew I would be very, <sighs> okay. Um, oh my gosh, we are 13, wait. We're over $13,000 that we've raised together because if you had trouble donating through the YouTube button, there is an alternative link on Tiltify or Tiltify, Tiltify, and there's like 1600 already there. So, wow, I'm amazed. Thank you. Oh. Okay, thank you, Emil. Um, <laughs> it was just have to one second. Like, oh. oh, I hope you're not listening to my uh, heartbeat. That's really strange. Um, I'll try to clip it somewhere else. Hi. We're more than 14,000, that's amazing. Maybe by the end of the month, we can raise 20,000. There's still a week left because I am having this donation uh, fundraiser for uh, all the way to the end of the month. So that would be so amazing if we can even double my goal and reach 20. But I know that's a lot to ask. And of course, not everyone has um, the means to donate, but if you do, whatever it is, will help. Um, so this is the moment for me to kind of rest a little. Yes, catch my breath, like fried mango said. And, um, oh, I hope you can hear me well, but, um, and maybe do a Q&A for maybe 15 minutes. And then I will, and then I will play the list, not the list, but the, Encores. One of them is a list, but yeah. Oh, that's really awkward if you heard my heartbeat. <laughs> that sounds so cheesy. Whew. Hi, dog. Would you like to ask me a question? Stop scratching your nail. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Q&A. Ask me questions if you have any. Um, my favorite composer is definitely Schumann. Um, oh, wow, I didn't even look at the view count. Cool, thank you, 3,300 or so of you for choosing classical music on your Sunday morning or Sunday night, or maybe even Monday morning. I try to pick a time that would fit the most amount of time zones, so if you're watching this, and playback because you couldn't stay up to watch this. I totally understand and I'm sorry, but there's so many of you <laughs> all over and it seems like 10 a.m. New York time is the only time that I can do a live stream where the most amount of people can join in. So we understand. <clears throat> oh gosh, slow mode needs to be even slower because there are too many questions, hold on. Um, this is the last time I'm talking about the dog upstairs. No, I have not met the dog upstairs. We are in quarantine and lockdown. <laughs> oof, oof. Oh no, too many questions. Q 
Kyo, Kyobi four. If you didn't play piano, what other instrument would you play? Long time ago, I, I've answered this. Excuse me, I've answered this question before. Maybe violin or guitar, but I don't know. I, I, I like the piano. I feel like if I play any other instrument, I would be too emotional. Like a violin would just make me cry whenever I play. I think. Um. Safario asks, how long does it take to learn Ravel? I really love that piece. I'm glad you like uh, Laval's. I fell in love with it in the senior year of college. So, so four years ago, three years ago, junior year of college or senior, I forget. I don't actually even remember how I came across it. But the reason I'm telling you that part is because um, it didn't take me too long to learn it, maybe two weeks from learning the notes to memorizing it. I mean, I had some, I remember having some memory spots when I, and I still do, <laughs> there are so many accidentals everywhere, but um, I remember bringing it to my lesson like after two weeks and I had some memory problems, but yeah, it took me about two weeks, but to get it to uh, performable level, I don't know, I'm still working on it every time I play it, so. Hmm. Um. What is my favorite classical music era? Sh I wanted to say Schumann, but that's not an era. Uh, romantic. I mean, with a hint of classical and Baroque once in a while, like, I really love Scarlatti, as you can tell, and uh, Haydn is fun to play and uh, be a kid. <laughs> but uh, a lot of you actually requested Mozart, and if the rest of this live stream goes well, I will go back to Mozart and explore a little and maybe do another live stream in June. But um, romantic was the answer to your question. I hope this is okay, me holding the mic like this. Um. Place your mic to the right side. This right side or that right side? Because you're watching this flipped now. <laughs> I think my heart is not beating like heck before. So I'll just do it like this. Um. So many good questions. I don't know how to pick. We'll answer for five, ten more minutes, and then I will play. Um, thank you for all the donations still coming in. Um, yeah, this is really great. I, I wish I could do more to help the people and help. Uh, yeah, I just wish I could do more, but I'm glad I can at least do something here. So thank you for supporting me and uh, for I don't know, just having my back. Mm. I don't know how, okay, if you're new here, someone asked how many years have you been playing piano? 18, 18 years. That's basically uh, enough years to be an adult, so. Pencil, pen, wallet. What is your favorite Schumann piece? Carnival. Yeah. <laughs> so Papillon is like the a kid version of, of Carnival because it's a similar type of piece where it's a lot of movements and um, very imaginative and uh, waltz-like. I mean, they are waltzes uh, in the whole collection of movements. So, yeah. Techniques on Ravel's brilliant glissandos. So I remember people telling me to do it with the nails. 
And as you saw on social media, I posted a picture of what happened when I did gliss with the nails. And it's not comfortable if I do it with the nails, if it's like all 88 keys all the way down like that, it hurts and it bleeds. So I would not recommend doing it with the nails if you are glissing so long. I mean, if it's a short distance, that's fine. But uh, I ended up doing it multiple fingers with my pads like this. But that might also, depending on your skin type, that might give you some, uh, what do you call it? Like, like the bubbles, ah, oh, I'm, I'm losing the word, but you know what I mean. You have to experiment. Mm -hmm. Oga, how many hours did you play when you were a child? Not many hours. I guess two, three hours. I was never really an uh, incredibly focused practicing child. I just practice whenever I felt like it. I mean, I still practice pretty much every day, but um, I think I was more disciplined and I practiced more when I was in college, for sure, and until now. Blisters, what's the word I was looking for? Thank you, uh, Pure G. None? Gun? Sorry, I don't know how to say your name. Mm. Yes, I don't like uh, glissing with nails because it makes the clicking sound. Exactly. Glad that there are people who think like me also. <laughs> Helen! Hope you're doing well in Michigan. Thank you so much for joining. I just had a flashback of Gilmore Festival and meeting you at dinner. So, nice of you to join me here. Um... People keep asking me what is my favorite pianist. It's hard to pick one. And a lot of them are no longer with us. But I, I don't know, I said I really enjoy listening to Sokolov. I went to his recitals um, twice, no, three times. And uh, he was the only pianist that I have like actually flew to see a recital or taking a train to see his recital and um, but there are also lots of other pianists that I like maybe not exactly my favorite because they all play different things differently and sometimes I might like a certain person for this but then not so much for another piece so it's hard for me to answer that question I was listening to um, oh what is his name my friend's gonna make fun of me for not remembering how to say his name. Benno something, Mo Mo <laughs> was, uh, ah, I forgot his name, the last name, hold on. Mosevich, there it is. <laughs> um, his Rachmaninoff's uh, Rhapsody on the theme of Paganini is absolutely amazing and my favorite. And I guess he is one of my favorite pianists but unfortunately cannot hear him live anymore because um, a lot of my favorite pianists are no longer alive. Mm. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Someone asked, do you agree that Teen Vogue considers you a prodigy? No, I, I, I spent too many years being categorized as a prodigy for better or for worse, I mean, I was part of a research project where they were studying me as a prodigy, but I think a lot of it goes into nurture and um, it's a combination of dedication, luck, and also how you were raised and what your environment is growing up. So, um, yeah, I don't really like that label, but if it helps to motivate some younger generations, then why not? But uh, as a label, I would not call myself a prodigy or anything like that. It's also very presumptuous 
and arrogant, right? <laughs> Can you imagine if someone was saying, oh yeah, I'm a prodigy. That is the most arrogant thing you could also ever say. <laughs> so um, yeah, there you go. That's my answer. Um, okay, five more minutes and then I will play your own course. I haven't looked at the polls since uh, an hour and a half ago, so let's see what it'll be like. What is the piece that moves you the most? For some reason, Chopin, I always... This is the second time I've cried on camera playing Chopin, but... Uh, Rachmaninoff's also moves me. It's hard to pick one piece. It also depends on my state of mind. I'm sure it's the same for you. Uh, I might be very moved by a piece. Also depends on who is playing the piece, but... It's usually a romantic, it is always actually a romantic piece, I think. Unless it's like a slow scrollati or slow movement of Bach, like a Sarabond maybe, but not the same intense uh, emotional reaction. So, uh, okay, I'm very glad none of my friends have texted me, <laughs> which means everything is still working. <laughs> oh, that scares me so much. Do I have perfect pitch? Yes. Do I find it helpful? Uh, Follow-up question. And will I make a concert in Bordeaux in France or in France? I hope I get invited to France, but it's not like I can just show up with a sign and say, hey, I'm going to perform here. They need to invite me, so we'll see. Also, I have no idea when I'm actually going to be performing on stage. No idea, but I hope you're doing well and staying safe indoors. Or maybe if you're part of those cities that are opening up, I hope you're still staying safe. Uh, so has it helped me? Yeah, I guess maybe Perfect Pitch helps me have music stuck in my head really easily. I hope this ability continues until I've learned all the pieces that I need to learn as a pianist for the rest of my career. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it helps. But I also don't have the opposite to compare it to, so who knows. Emil, interesting question. Could you play a piece without hearing the sound of your piano just by remembering the key placements? A lot of people assume that memorization is based on uh, muscle memory. For me, I actually realize it's uh, very much sound based for me. And this might tie into the fact that I have perfect pitch. And so I can't really practice on a piano that is in a different tuning. If it's, you know, those really old pianos that are tuned like half a tone lower, <laughs> I will be so messed up. So I always hear the music. And if I am checking my memory when I'm not at the piano, it's not through like this. <laughs> it's through my head and hearing the music. And if I can play the music back in my head, then I've memorized it. And yeah, sure, there's like a small percentage of muscle memory. For example, the Ravel, uh, there's no way for me to be able to notate back every single note and the accidentals. So pieces like that, when it's very extreme, muscle memory plays a bigger part, but for other pieces, it's mostly sound and structure that guides my memory. Why are my answers so long? <laughs> Sorry. Someone wants me to speak in Cantonese. Multiple people want me to speak in Cantonese, but um, what am I supposed to say? I don't know. <sighs> um, okay, one last question and then I will... 
Mm, someone asked, increasing stamina. You have to build over time and prepare yourself for the worst scenario. I, I think I talked about this in one of my vlogs. I've lost count of what I've said in um, my vlogs because I've made a hundred and something. <laughs> but you, you kind of prepare for the worst and just keep playing. The more you play, the more stamina. It's like running a marathon, you know? You just keep running, but then slowly increase your time. Okay, I think that's enough Q&A for now, especially for those who don't want to just hear me talk. <laughs> so I guess I will find out what is uh, on the poll situation and see what I'm gonna play. Um, also, thank you for tolerating the slow mode. This is so much easier for me to read so, thank you. Um, uh, how do I go to the poll? Mm. Oh, wow. 4,500 people voted? Goodness gracious. Um, okay. Leave us Tom one. Intermezzo Opus 118 number two won by Barely a hundred votes. Prelude one uh, over. Shoot, how do I say the word? Leave a slide. I think yeah. Um, whoa. Wait. Vogel. <laughs> oh shoot! I have to say this a German word. Vogel aus Prophet. One over Trommerei. So there you go. Those are the pieces that I will be playing. <laughs> ah, German. I can't wait to go back to studying German every day, but it is what it is now. I am sorry if I mispronounced the words again. Here you go. Oh, wait. How am I, what order am I playing this in? Give me two seconds. I have to think about this. How will I order this? Um. Oh no, I'm having trouble ordering these pieces together. Sorry, it, it's gonna take me a while to figure out how to do this. These are not the pieces that I expected would win. <laughs> um, I have to think what works in the order, but I will play. So, goodbye Mike. Talk to you in 20 minutes, half an hour, I don't know. Thank, oh, thank you for voting.
Well, that's great. That's something lag at the end. Ugh. What happened? Wait. What happened at the end? What? Why are people saying? Okay. I get really scared when you say that there's a sound issue, but if it's just a half second, then okay. Also, my friend texted me, so that scares me when I <laughs> get a text message. Um, but <sighs> I can't tell if that was good or not because I felt like there was so much hype for this piece. Um, and I don't know if uh, that lived up to your expectations, although I did only practice this piece for a week and a half. Um, but, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> if it was just one second, then that's fine. But if it was like <laughs> the entire time, then I would have been very sad. But, okay. <sighs> it might have been my antivirus program notification that popped up or something, but. Uh, okay, th thank you for reassuring me. <sighs> yeah, there, oh, I just like <laughs> exhaled into the mic. Um, <sighs> okay. Thank you. Um, I don't know what else to do now. I just want to say thank you for watching and listening to classical music because that's really the reason that I do any of this social media stuff. Maybe I'm a big idiot for spending so much time on um, doing social media, but hopefully what I've been doing and um, yeah, hopefully what I've been doing has brought you, brought, brought you I cannot pronounce words, <laughs> uh, has brought you to classical music more so than you usually would be. And uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it for this uh, concert. Unless there's anything else that I should be doing, but I don't know if there's anything else that I need to be doing now. Um, so, kind of sad that this is over, because this was <laughs> so much building up. But um, we have raised, let me check one last time before I sign off. Whoa! 3,438 plus one, uh, 12,000, wait, math, not my strong suit. We raised like $16,000? I'm not the brightest in math, but that seems to be what I'm looking at, right? I hope we reach 20 then. I didn't think that that would be a possible goal, but I'm combining the donations from the YouTube box that you see, and also from the alternative link to those who aren't able to donate through YouTube because the YouTube button is only available for 30 something countries. So yeah. Thank you very much. Don't forget to be kind and keep striving. I feel like that is all I can do, is to keep spreading a message like that and um, fundraising and play music for you. Somebody just gave $1,000? What? I am um, a bit shocked. I don't know how to react anymore. <laughs> I spent so much time prepping all of this, so I hope those of you who are watching this in playback will also appreciate this. And um, yeah, we're over sixteen thousand dollars. That's crazy. So, um, what else do I need to tell you? Not much. Um, I'm reading your last few comments before I sign off. 
but I really miss playing for a live audience. This is um, this is very new. Wait, there's buzzing. What did I not? Whoa. Maybe it's just my hand. I don't know, but I hope you felt like this was a success. I'm very glad that um, we raised over sixteen thousand dollars. So even if you didn't enjoy the music, at least we raised some money together to help um, frontline workers. So keep donating, and I hope we can reach twenty. Although I don't know if that's possible. I hope um, we can reach closer to twenty thousand. I don't know why there's a bus in my sound, but if there is, I'm gonna leave. So <laughs> you won't have to tolerate this light buzzing noise. Maybe is my hand shaking? I don't know. But, bye. Um, I will take some time off of social media for a little bit, but I will be back. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do another one in June. I have no idea what life is going to be like, so I hope you're staying safe. All my best to you, your family, your friends, wherever you are. And uh, that's it. I, I, as if there, I'm going crazy. I thought looking down would be like my phone with the comments. No, this is my mic. What am I doing? Okay, goodbye. Be kind and keep striving. Thank you so much for listening and for donating, obviously. But bye.